Hello everyone, this is Critic giving you game one in a series between Fanatics Phoenix versus Evil Geniuses Strife Crow here on Shakura's Plateau. We have Phoenix spawning here as the blue Terran player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have Strife Crow spawning on the top left hand side of the map as the yellow Zerg. Zerg versus Terran on Shakura's Plateau. Um, pretty interesting matchup. One of the six possible matchups, I believe. Yeah, one of the six possible matchups, Zerg versus Terran. And um, one of my favorite matchups, just because a lot of strange things can happen. Um, double Marine Rush or double Barracks and Marine Pressure is very, very common. Shakura's Plateau, however, is a rather large map, so unless he actually proxy racks, he would not be able to get that much damage done. Meanwhile, Zerg players do have a very, very easy to defend natural expansion here. So that natural expansion, so easy to defend because of this ramp, even though it is rather wide, it does, it is elevated, so it does give a bit of additional protection, at least for line of sight from any of those marines that want to put pressure. We can see Phoenix currently just mining away. I don't see a gas yet. So he may be going for a... F um, is he going? No, they're now going for that um, barracks there. And we'll see what he goes for next. Uh, I, for some reason, I saw this. And I thought that was the um, Terran player. No, that is the Zerg. Now going for that gas. So a standard 12 gas coming in. Or actually a little bit faster. Um, a 12 gas as opposed to a 13 gas. So he did delay his SCV production just a little bit. Meanwhile, Strife Crow moving out with a 15 hatchery. And a 15 hatchery is going to be a very strong economic opening. So both players really want to get that economy going. Both players want to run off of two bases before they put down um, that much pressure at all. So the hatchery is in the hatchery already growing up spawning pool and now in play. Meanwhile, gas is already being mined by Phoenix. We may be getting a tech lab down. So a tech lab now being added as well. Upgrading to an orbital command. And now we should be getting, I believe, a, a command center after a Reaper will be built. So it looks like it will be a Reaper expansion versus a hatch a pool extractor. So both players not going to see that much action um, in the early portion of the game. But both players going to just catapult themselves into the mid game with a, with stronger macro. Probably we'll see an engagement around, um, I would guesstimate around 50 to 75 food just to feel each other out. More of a keep honest task force to make sure that the, uh, that the Zerg player isn't just blindly power droning or the Terran player isn't just blindly expanding here on Chakra's Plateau. You can see an SCV now down over here. It could try to build a bunker. Um, if it tried to build a bunker right here, I believe that would just be a close enough. Actually, no, it's not going to be close enough as the drone's now going to be making their way down. The hatchery obviously spots this over here. The drone's going to get some damage, and now in comes some Zergling. Those Zerglings going to run quickly across that creep and now shut down that SCV. SCV gets taken down. Bunker is canceled, so 100 or 75 resources have been refunded. Now you can see that the Reaper should be making a position or a move over in just a moment as one Reaper already making its way in, but one Reaper not going to be able to get in that much damage. It really needs a partner in crime, so to speak, in order to get a lot more damage. And now after going two factories, now going, or sorry, two Reapers now going into a factory. Instead, he may add a reactor here and it may become your standard Marine tank. Command center already about halfway done. More barracks being placed down as well. There is that reactor that I mentioned earlier. So it is going to be marine tank in just a moment as the Reapers look to poke their heads up that ramp here. Get some damage onto these drones. The, Re the Reapers do need three sh or two shots um, each to take down one of those units. A Zergling may get taken down. One Zergling, two Zerglings. And now the drones are going to get taken down. One drone down, two drones down. As the Reaper should be able to jump up onto that high ground pretty easily. Zerglings now coming over as as well the Reap uh, the zerglings are not going to be able to get any damage at all and the key question will be how much um, how much damage can that queen protect against you can see damage already being dealt across somebody so many drones there it looks as though this one reaper is not going to be able to get off. oh get able to get off one final shot there taking down another drone and the worker kill count eight to one so very nicely done by phoenix phoenix in, in a lot of harassment and trying to even up the overall count. You can see 23 drones compared to 24 SCVs as this Reaper just still racking up the kills. One more shot in the back. Down goes another drone. So just a crazy intensive micro by this one Reaper. And the Reaper finally taken down. 
a pair of Reapers getting in 11 worker kills. Total losses, 700 to 350, but um, I believe 100 resources of that was that bunker that was salvaged so it was only 225 to 700 and um, if you if you haven't noticed or if you did not read up already there are going to be new patch or 1.3.5 patch notes are currently available on the public test realm one of the changes is just pretty much artificial but something that everyone has been asking for change the infernal pre-igniter research from a red flame to a blue flame so yes the blue flame research will actually have a blue flame icon hellions making their way once more towards that zergling it looks like the zerglings are going to get torched two zerglings quickly getting taken down as that blue flame research has been completed we are getting now double evolution chambers queen now uh, leaving her post for just a moment as the hellions going back for even more worker kills it looks like it is going to be a drone barbecue as those hellions just torching off more and more of those units it looks like more zerglings gonna get destroyed once again as a queen now on guard trying to stop the rest of these hellions but it looks like the hellions and um, kind of suicided into a really really bad position there another zergling could get taken down yeah there goes another zergling there as the worker kill count now up to 20 uh, 21 and really the total drones 28 compared to 32 though as strife crow really doesn't have that large of an army really just constantly training up more and more drones trying to keep or stay on top of that spawn larva as the zerglings now just swarm around the map we are going to have a roach war and so the roaches should be able to easily detract uh, against any aggression from those hellions any longer but we do have siege tanks and marines also joining the army so phoenix going to be doing a nice transition into a standard tank marine play with medevac we'll see how um well how we'll see how strike crow does respond to this it's going to be very very difficult for strike crow to really get any true damage in as the bunker here with some marines nearby should be able to easily finish off a large number of zerglings the hellion however didn't get a shot off and now the hellions once again turning around going home the overlords do spot the uh, the overlord or the marines there the overlords do spot the medevac as a siege tank is most likely just going to simply siege up here and then start trying to blast away but no gas right there so it's only going to be able to take down perhaps a couple drones in that location the meta the marines now just unloading everything there zerglings now trying to swarm in siege tanks getting a lot more damage onto those um poor poor units there and no oh, once again dropping those marines picking them back up in between the timing very nice micro by phoenix uh, i believe a there was some siege tank or collateral damage there as the two queens need to start um transfusing each other otherwise they are going to get taken down rather quickly as the marine just offering sight very very far away it looks like a roach will be able to finish off this siege tank here and um, will the siege tank be able to get off another shot off no no additional shots off there at all as um, the loss of the medevac means loss of line of sight onto that high ground phoenix sitting at 78 over 78 currently producing another command center no additional supply depots just quite yet even though he is supply blocked so that will be an issue. I don't you know, finally getting the supply depot now. But that is not really helping him as much as it as he wants it to. Phoenix needs to perhaps push off over here, get some cover fire with that siege tank as there is also a, a Viking that has scouted out this expansion as well at the nine o'clock location. Marines are moving out. We can see that level one weapons upgrade about halfway completed. Marauders and Marines still being added as Phoenix has a slight, slight advantage, but he is not going to be able to hold on to it. As you can see that Phoenix is still supply blocked at 86 over 80 six really slowing down his production and really slowing down the ability for him to do anything at all and now he's finally seen at 96 over 102 and he is getting in a lot of supply depots now but um, being supply blocked for th so long his economy his scv count um, no longer as high as it possibly could have been also he needs to get that other command center in place as well as he's going to be transferring and running off of three bases in just a moment roaches may be coming down the uh, coming down that pathway as the marines are simply walking straight up simply engaging here the siege tanks will siege up behind them as the marines look to get some damage in come the zerglings so the marines now fighting against zerglings on both sides the roaches going to su shut down multiple um siege tanks there as the marines need to jump inside the medevac Yes, will be able to do so and then now drop on the other side of the cliff, allowing even more damage to be dealt as the Marines are quickly dropping in. It looks like the Medevac may get taken down. Double 
double um, queens now pushing in. A transfusion comes in as well. A queen, one queen now taken down. A second queen, Mega taken down as well as the roaches uh, come over and once again deter as another drop happening over here as well. Four marines fighting against one spine crawler, but that spine crawler dealing so much damage as the drop once again coming in along the far side. The roach getting in a decent amount of damage before getting shot in the back by those marines. Phoenix now running off of three bases still. But still, and, and now constantly harassing. But we'll see how much damage he'll really be able to truly deal. As another Medivac Marine drop comes in over here. Strife Crow being forced to fight everywhere at once. With a much smaller, nearly not as mobile army at this stage. Siege tanks, Marauders, and Marines once again pushing through that front door location on that low ground. The very, very wide open walking area between the two bases here. As another command center now being built. Siege tank simply will roll up the ramp, see the two Zerglings, perhaps shoot them down. They do have a range of 7, so we'll be able to finish off those Zerglings there. And now, looking to establish another base. Currently running off of 5, me five Marines in that one medevac. There is a no, no, more meta no more Marines in this medevac here, so perhaps Phoenix should probably return that medevac home and repair it as it is very low on hit points. Strife Crow is still sitting on a decent number of roaches, but the stimmed marines with level 1 weapons upgrade as should be able to chew through these roaches rather quickly. The roaches still take, I believe, 4 shots to take down a marine even if there is that um, level 1 weapons upgrade. So not that big of a difference there. Siege tanks will siege. There you go. Marines now pushing forward. Be able to deter and move back all of those uh, roaches once again. And now the Marines simply charging in here. One Overlord down. A second Overlord will get taken down as well. The Zergli is now swarming in. Marauder is now trying to pull back here. Uh, not a very deep siege tank line at all as both sides dealing a lot of damage. It looks like the roaches may get the upper hand on this battle. As, as the roaches are now going to get slowly reinforced. The roaches should really be pushing in. But they took in way too much damage from those siege tanks. And there's the GG by Strike. Strife Crow. So Strife Crow saying GG on game one in this series between Fanatics Phoenix and Evil Geniuses. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.